Terracia Village. All new. Stopping by here because I want to show you some things and give you guys some intel. I'm going to do a drive around. They do have a pool. This is their clubhouse. Pickleball courts right here up front. We're just going to do a drive by because we're not allowed here unless you pay. Um, but these are the sites. They're back in sites. They're back in sites. No shade whatsoever. You got a nice little bike rack right there. But this is a very new park. They have uh, about, I think, 180 sites here. Lots. You got full hookups. And let's go ahead. It goes all the way back there. And uh, there's a total of six rigs here. But it's all back end sites, and they are so close to each other. If you can tell, this is one, and then your backyard is right next to. They're they're putting you right on each other here in the state of Florida. And this place here just opened last week. These are the back ends back here. And this is your shower house. They got the bathrooms. And there is only one on the property. And uh, one bathhouse. That bathhouse will get very over packed I'm hoping that they have a bathhouse up front but this is one of the new parks here Ruskin and Palmetto area Florida Everything is this this corner lot here looks like you got a nice little Playroom and then it looks right here. You got a nice little playroom here I'm Surprised they didn't put one in there And these are all they're all back in they're all back in spots. And there's the you know the clubhouse, pickleball, and then you have your golf carts over there and then your mailing or your mailbox and letters and all that over there as well. But there's not that many pickleball and swimming. It looks like that there are amenities here at this uh, facility. What's up guys, what's going on? It's Wyckoff here with Wyckoff's Adventures right here on YouTube and all platforms. Guys, the beginning of this video right here was, um, or should I say, a RV park resort that is here in uh, Palmetto, uh, Ruskin, right next to Brandon, Bradington, and South St. Pete. You can get it from Tampa, stuff like that. Yes, yeah, good. It's, it's an okay location. 
but I went in a couple days ago to ask, hey, can I stay here? So I got some information. They just opened last week. And the prices that they gave me and, um, you know, a lot of, you know, pros and cons. And I want to go over that with you guys because I stay here and live in Florida. And I'm starting to see a lot of this happening um, due to the spike of all the prices that are going up. No matter which way you look at it, everyone is going to put their hand in the cookie jar. So, I'm out here trying to find um, RV parks, campsites, state parks. State parks normally stay around the same price. They don't go up. They don't go down. Um, they were average between $25 to $35 um, a couple years ago. Now, they're between $35 to $45 to $48. I, I've seen some at $55. But we will be going by, going around, checking these out for you, giving you guys knowledge on the state parks and even on RV parks here in Florida. The ones that we stay at, the ones that we would have stayed at, but the prices are just outrageous for our budget. You know, I am giving you what our budget's like, how we feel on things. Um, we do want to bring the knowledge and what we see, what we hear, and, and bring it to you guys. So you guys are, you know, if you are if you don't live here in Florida, it's a it's benefit for you guys. So you guys would know what parks to go to, what not to go to, what to stay away from, you know, the pros and cons. So I'm going to do everything I possibly can to do my best to give you that um, kind of feel around here in the Florida RV resorts, RV parks, and state parks. But today, we are talking about the Encore yeah. Terracia Village, okay? They had, we stayed at the older park, the one that's next to it. I believe I did drive through on the e-bike showing the newer park, but I, I don't think we did um, because we were only giving our review of the park where we stayed. I wanted to stay at the new park, so I'm going to go on their website and act like I'm, right, I'm wanting to book like you guys would. And I want to give you guys, you know, intake of the prices and tell you the honest truth about the situation okay so showed you the surroundings there are four pickleball courts um, there is a pool there and what they're doing guys so you got the old park and then you got the new park so what they're doing is putting both parks together i did say in the video that they only had one shower house but if they are adding both parks together, now you got two pools, two showering spots. But who is going to camp at one of the locations, right? And then travel all the way to the other side. I mean, they are right next to each other. But if you're walking or golf carting, I would say it's about a three minute, you know, truck over there, you know. And... If you're taking a shower, if you got to go to the bathroom, you have to take that in consideration. It's it's all the way to the other park. So, really, this park only has one bathroom, one shower house, one pool. But how they are trying to make it on the website is two shower houses, two pools, uh pickleball court like I looked at their am amenities okay let's go ahead all right well I'm just gonna go ahead and and show you guys all right so we're at the front it is also thousand trails okay and encore okay RV resorts they are a big corporate um, and they're starting to buy all these mom and pops places and, and doing so-called their magic but technically all they're doing 
is putting a little paint on it and jacking up the price. This is my opinion. This is what I see. So, all right. So, this RV resort in Palmetto puts you close to famous theme parks. Theme attractions, okay? Orlando from here is about two hours. Even from the beach where that is sitting, it's about a 35-minute ride. I would give it a 45 minutes if it's on a busy time, for, like in the busy part of the day. You will have to leave bright, bushy tail in the morning to get there in about 20 minutes. So right there and then, they're misleading talking about they're so close to the attractions. I mean, they are close to Tampa, and that's about an hour and 15, I would say about an hour, okay, away from this. You would need a vehicle at this um, place. You would need um, a, a good pocket, you know, full of some money to get an Uber if you don't have a vehicle. If you're just driving a Class A or a Class C, you would need your vehicle. Um, to get to these locations. All right. Open and close all year round. I did say there was uh, 198 sites. That is the new sites. There's uh, actually 180 new sites. It looked like about 9, 193, so that's why I said it. So my bad on that. But when they put both parks together, it is 393 park, or, uh, spots. Membership option. The trails collection, uh, new RV sites ready for booking. Okay, so tour our brand new RV sites August 7th through 11th. Already did that. All right, so let's go ahead and book now. Like you want to book one of the new spots right now, August 7th. Okay, they're only allowing me to do August 9th. So I'm going to do two nights to see if they will give me a little discount, you know, because you don't want to just do one night, right? So we'll do two nights from August 9th to the 11th. How many feet is our rig? We're going to do 33 feet. Okay. And then let's see what they give us. One other person is viewing right now. This is a elite. Okay. And it is 40 or it's $64. Okay. This is this right here. They're going to show you a... Normal site, this is what they showed us when we booked last time. So it's $64, okay? Now we're getting to the Elite Plus. Now they're gonna show you the the new park, okay? Let's see what the price is. $132 a night, guys, for a back in, uh, back in, back in lot, back in spot, $132 a night. Um, this site is the Elite Plus sites. Um, guys, I am just giving you our budget. Uh, me and Nick, we would not pay $132 a night for an RV spot. There are some people out there that could or would. It's just not our cup of tea. So we are just giving you our, our opinion and some information on this. So this is the Elite Plus sites offer full hookups. WES 30 and 50 amp. It goes up to 48 feet. Concrete pad back in picnic table. Um, you get Spectrum cable. So you got cable and high speed internet are available for long term guests for an additional fee. Never mind, guys. So they, they don't even have Wi-Fi at this price. They don't have uh, cable TV at that price. Mm, not good, in our opinion. Uh, and it does say, but they will offer that, but for a fee if you're a long-term guest. Located on a premier uh, road, some with water view. Water view. Did you see any water out there? No. I didn't see no water, so... I don't know what water view they're talking about on uh, this oh. site here. Maybe a ditch? No. Remember, there is a... In, uh, no, maybe not. Was there just, a lake that was over there by the laundry room that they had? 
Not on the new side. On this the old this side. is going to be a new yeah, site. But, but okay. They call it their. The this is name. the new site. They're showing you a new site, so it better be a new site for one hundred and thirty-two dollars. Yeah, but I think we just the water. we just drove there. around the new site. There's no, no water, water there. There's no, no water there. No, 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 and no, we no. just showed you that, guys. So, no siree, not happening. So that's false advertisement. Um, so you definitely need to look into that. Oh wait, wait, hold on. I do have a picture, and I just will put that up right here. Right there is the picture of the top of the whole park and let's see if there's any water all right so now we're going to a premiere okay a premium a premium and this one is the premium sites offer 30 and 50 amp grass pad and pull through so this is the older side this is the other side for 57 so the other park is older and more mature and they're actually at a decent prices. But this new park for $132 for no grown trees, no shade. So your rig is going to be on fire. Um, not literally on fire, but with the sun beating down with no shade, no mature trees. You got to put that in, um, you know, the factor, guys, because... Your AC will be running like a like like it's going choo choo like a train coming through the small town. You know what I mean? But definitely looking, you know, something like that. Um, it and this is weird. Bright House Cable Company, if staying one month or so, they got Bright Side or Bright House Cable on the other on the other on the older park, Nick. But they got Spectrum on the new park. Now we're gonna go to the Premium Plus. Now we're going back into the back end on the new site, okay? Premium Plus. And it's funny how they say right here, one other person viewing in the last 15 minutes. So they're like telling you, you better hurry, you better hurry. We just showed you guys there's only six campers on this, at this place, okay? Only six, and you got 170 plus more spots available, so stop but it's part of sales it's part of you know so premium plus it's still a back end a premium plus site offers full hookups wes 30 and 50 amp 48 concrete pad back end picnic table spectrum cable and high speed internet are available for long-term guests for an additional fee located on an interior road okay so $118, okay, daily. If you do it weekly, wait a minute. Now this don't make sense. If you do it daily, it's $118, okay? But if you do it weekly, seven days minimum, is $129 a night. You get that, Nick? $118 a night if you stay each night. Or if you get a weekly rate, it's $129. Wow. Yeah, don't make sense. But anyways, let's move on. Standard. So you're at Standard. It's still at the older park. So what they're doing is they're putting both parks together. You really don't know what site you're getting. Um, the Standard site looks like it's at the older park. See, me, by me looking at, like, so if I'm somebody from out of state or a different location, that is wanting to come to this park, okay? I'm looking at their website. I see the first picture on the website as with the new park, right? Me letting you guys know that this is two parks, two different parks, two different things, and you're wanting to stay at the newer park, and you think the $51 a night is at the newer park because they don't tell you it's at the old park. So I'm telling you. So at this place here, they're doing a lot of trickery. They're selling you on the newer park, but for the price of $51, they're gonna put you over in the other park. When you're thinking you're getting a $51 a night at the newer park. 
misleading. And then they're saying that you got Wi-Fi, but only if you stay a month or longer. All right, so here's the value. Okay, here's the value one that we got tricked at. It's $32 a night, but if you stay a week, and that's what we were going to do, stay a week, it's $28. This is when we first started, when we first got our trailer, when we were like, oh, let's find a place. Saw this price, $28. So we jumped on it, showed up. It's one of our first RV reviews. And uh, we even asked, said, hey, man, you know, we thought value, and this is what they showed us as a value park. And uh, that's not what it looked like when we showed up. And uh, we were like, yo, this is wrong. And they would not fix it. They wouldn't give us our money back. So we had to upgrade to another um, lot. Uh, we were very upset. So, And it went to $42 a night. And we did that for two nights. But guys, this park here, they are, uh, you know, very expensive. For the new park, 132 to 118 a night. Uh, and this is what really gets me because this is only for this month. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to switch it over to October 10th, okay, to the 13th, okay, October 10th to the 13th. And we're going to go and see how much that is. So $90 times 30 is $2,700. So that's about right. Um, because I asked them, I said, how much are you going to charge if I would like to get a month here in October and November and December? They told me $2,500 a month for the place that I just showed you guys. Give me your guys' opinion. Let me know if you would love to stay at this park and if you would love to pay this price. This is just a regular RV park. They have one pool, but technically two because they're going to put two parks together. That's what they're going to sell you on. They got two pools, two bathhouses, but you're going to have to walk a distance if you want that extra bathroom because the extra bathroom is going to be packed, okay? Um, with if that place is full um, if we are here at that time in October November and December we're I'm gonna drive by this place and I'm gonna see if this place is slam packed if it's not because October November December January February is the Florida season for the snowbirds coming down I want to let you guys know when you guys come to Florida if you guys are coming to Florida please do your research I will do everything I possibly can to keep you guys up to date on the prices and the parks because they're getting outrageous. Right now, you know, we're paying $7.35 a month. Next or in two months, they're going up to $1,500 a month at the location we are at at the RV park we're at right now. But when it comes to the prices and the prices going up, we don't like that. And we want to give you guys 100% honest and to the point that do your research or listen to what I have to say because I'm going to all the RV parks, all the state parks, all the trailer parks, all the parks. And I'm going to get all information and show you guys the parks, show you the layouts, everything, and give you guys my honest opinion and Nick's honest opinion and, and give you guys pros and cons about the parks um, and and really give you guys insight because we're here. We want to give you guys information before you drive all those miles to get here and end up at a value lot. And it's just in the back of the trailer park on a grassland that floods when it rains. No dump. Just an extension cord for your power. Maybe a hose of water, but we want to make sure that you're taken care of. So again, thank you for watching Wyckoff's Adventures. And this is an update on one of the RV parks here in Florida that I want to call out. And 
let the, let people know that the prices are ridiculous. They're starting to happen, and uh, we're going to let you guys know about it. God bless you guys. Take care. See you on the next adventure.